Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. I have a bad throat today. So you might see some change in my audio, but I'll try to keep it as normal as possible. Going back to the topic for today, how would I see the future of DevOps? Let me tell you, even in 2024, majority of the college graduates choose programming or full stack development as their career option. At least six to seven out of 10 college graduates choose full stack development either through Java, Python, Node.js, Golang or any other programming languages as their career option. And this trend has been there in the IT industry since last 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, or ever since IT started recruiting, programming has been the primary career option. What happened because of this? There are many people in the IT industry with programming, either only backend, full stack or front end as their primary skill. Now you might say, but Abhishek, there are also more number of openings in the full stack when compared to DevOps, data engineering, product management, or any other stream. Yes, definitely I would agree to that, but you should always take a look at number of people with a skill divided by number of opportunities in the market. When you look at that number, you will realize the competition in the full stack development is very, very high. And I don't see that number coming down because even in 2025, 2026, or people switching the streams, majority of the people, even today, choose full stack as an option. So there is huge competition in the space already. And to add to that, the impact of AI. If there is any stream in the IT industry, you can take DevOps, data engineering, product management, any other stream and compare the impact of AI with the full stack development, you will realize the impact is quite significant on the developers. Quite simple. There are very good developer extensions. There are plugins. There are GPTs that help developers a lot when compared to other people. Because the data in this space through the community forums, through the blogs or through the documentation is quite high for the LLMs to give you perfect response. The false positives are less in this space when compared to others with the AI. So the impact of AI is more. However, all these things doesn't mean to say that development is at stake or generative AI is going to replace developers. No, I don't mean to say that. Even I am a Golang developer. All I want to say is if programming is not your expertise, if programming does not excite you, do not go into that competition space. There are many other fields in the IT industry with bright future. For example, DevOps, data engineering, cybersecurity. There are many other fields in the IT industry with bright future. In this video, let's talk about DevOps. The future of DevOps is going to be bright. I told this in one of my previous video as well, and I'm saying this again today, at least for the next five to 10 years, the future of DevOps is going to be great. Now, why am I saying this? There are a few reasons. Number one is the under recruitment of DevOps. Many companies, because of the global market recession, either in the US, Europe, UK, or other parts of the globe, could not recruit as many DevOps engineers as they require. That is because of the budget constraints that they have. They could not build a strong DevOps culture. 
and any company could not survive for a long time without strong devops practices without strong devops culture because devops is a stream that involves in each and every stage of software development life cycle and reduces the manual operations involved in that space so any company could not survive a long time without strong devops practices it can be automating the continuous integration and delivery or automating the infrastructure reducing the cloud cost cloud cost operation or getting your organization into kubernetes all of these things you cannot delay for a long time so as the market gets better devops engineers will be recruited by this organization and you will see the recruitment of devops going higher second thing is not much impact of generative ai on devops earlier in this video we have discussed that the impact of generative ai through some extensions plugins or gpts is quite significant on the developers because they can help developers write better code in less time on the contrary even though the similar extensions can help devops engineers with their day to day activities but the efficiency of these gpts or extensions or plugins is less in the devops space the reason is quite simple the stream itself is quite new devops itself is quite new so the amount of data on the devops tools and technologies for the llms to process and give you the answer is less when the data is less the efficiency is also less and there are more chances for the false positives so even in the coming years devops engineers cannot rely completely on the llms gpts they still have to implement the solutions design the solutions and do majority of their tasks without using gpts and llms the third reason is the improvements and enhancements going in the devops space itself if you look at the devops space there are a lot of extensions to devops that you can see even today such as mlops which is machine learning operations ai ops which is ai operations i would also consider site reliability engineering as an extension of devops because it's very easy for the devops engineers to switch into these extensions so in future you will see devops engineers also applying for the machine learning operations job roles of course the devops engineers have to upskill have to learn the things that are involved in machine learning operations things that are involved in site reliability engineering things that is involved in the ai operations but it is easy for the devops engineers when compared to other people to switch into these roles if you take ml ops as an example devops engineers have to add few skills to become a ml ops engineer compared to a developer if want to enter into ml ops operations ml ops job roles i mean so these reasons make me believe that the future of devops is going to be quite bright and once the market gets better you will see more number of openings in the devops space also let me know in the comment section if you think i have missed something or you have a different opinion thank you so much for watching today's video see you all in the next one take care bye bye